Hi, this is Dave Muir with Skyway Software. And in this video, I'm going to walk through tips and setup when scaffolding Spring Security 3.0 in my Eclipse for Spring 8.6. So at a high level, scaffolding Spring Security generates everything needed to secure an application with a conventional Spring Security implementation. As you can see here more specifically, it creates JPA entities representing this user's many-to-many -many relationship with authorities and their respective data access objects. It also generates the necessary security configuration files to wire in Spring Security, as well as adding in the Spring Security filters in the web.xml. And then a handful of JSPs are generated to support logout, login, and welcome. So let's get started. I've got uh, the same project here that was created in the Scaffolding Spring MVC Webflow Flex and iPhone video by Neil Eide that you can find on the My Eclipse for Spring YouTube channel. And in that video, it was five minutes and Neil walked through how to create this ready to run Spring application from an existing database schema through scaffolding, uh, generating these four different web layer technologies, what you can find in the My Eclipse for Spring 8.6 milestone. Now during scaffolding the Sp Spring 3.0 libraries were chosen and so there are a couple of things to modify in the project after uh, scaffolding security which I'll show you shortly but you can see here I've got it running and I can go in here and do certain CRUD operations in my application that, I, that was scaffolded. So to add in uh, security I'm going to right click the project and choose My Eclipse Scaffold Spring Security. Once I get to the Select Package pane, I'm going to choose the uh, Domain Package. If no packages were created before going into this wizard, you'll just need to add uh, a domain package or a package uh, to add in your Users and Authorities JPA entities. If it ends in .domain, then the Authorities and Users DAOs will be added to a newly created .DAO uh, package. I'll choose Derby and then this is going to be Spring 3.0. And as this is scaffolding, you'll notice that we do get a couple problem markers, and that's because in Spring 3.0, they change the package names uh, when dealing with uh, the import statements of JSP pages. So in particular, if we go to the welcome.jsp page underneath the web root, you'll notice that we've generated both import statements. So if you're using Spring 3.0, all you need to do is take out the 2.5 statements and uncomment the 3.0 and save and do the same for the login.jsp which is found in the site mesh common directory and again take out the two five imports and on comment three and now uh, your project should be uh, problem free the uh, configuration file that I want to take a look at before we actually run this again is the newly generated security context file so if we take a look at that, you'll notice that the intercept URL pattern has a secure subdirectory. What I want to do for this application is actually secure everything. So I'll take out the secure subdirectory and just save. And then I'll go ahead and restart my application on Tomcat. And while that's restarting, you'll notice here that an authorities, users, and users authorities table has been created in my Derby database. And if this is the first time you're using uh, scaffolding security, those tables will create it, but uh, before you can log in to your application, you'll need to add entries into users and authorities and, and a user authority. So just a username, password, uh, authorities. It's very self-explanatory if you're looking at the column names. So my server is now started up. I'll go ahead and just refresh this page, and you'll notice that instead of the menu, I'm now presented with the login page, which obviously can be changed. I'll go ahead and attempt a login. And now you'll notice I've got my menu with now a logout button and some welcome text. And that's all that's needed to get Spring Security 3.0 scaffolding up and running on an application. Thanks a lot for taking a look at my clips for spring and please don't hesitate to use the forms for any questions or feedback.